Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying and testing out basically weird and wacky and somewhat wonderful Wish products. This is basically, you guys actually cannot tell how big this box is. Look at the size of this box compared to my head. <laughs> I just went on and I bought a shit ton of shit basically. I did spend, I think it was just over £200 I spent on Wish. <sighs> that <laughs> Every time I say that I'm like, <laughs> pretty shocking right? Even though this stuff is all relatively cheap, I think the most expensive thing I did buy was £9. How I actually got caught with having to pay so much was the shipping. It's actually quite deceiving the app in my opinion. Like say for example like there was quite a few things I had in my basket and they were like three or four pounds but for delivery and shipping and stuff it was a fiver. So say for example I had like four of those things in that's like 20 pound for delivery just for these like four wee eyeshadows. So it's just like no, 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 no. So yeah that's basically where I got caught with having to spend so much um so much money. Okay, so the first thing I got was this primer and I actually can't pronounce it but it says pre makeup essence moisturize. This is just basically what it looks like here and then it obviously just has your a dropper for application. It smells quite sweet. Oh do you know what I'm actually just going to put this on one side of my face. I have a slight feeling that this is going to make my skin extremely oily because it has that really oily consistency. Ugh. It, do you know what it feels like as well? It kind of feels like just like a face serum. It actually smells like, like kids makeup. You know the way kids makeup has like a really artificial sweet smell. What the fuck is this? So <laughs> this is not a jock strap. It is a woman anti-wrinkle v-line face cheek lift slimming strap chin mask built so i don't know if you can see or not but it basically apparently takes you from this to this fucking bullshit okay we are going to try it is this even normal <laughs> i paid two pounds to make myself look like a twat I'm just going to put my pony tail forward. Mm. Do you know how I look like Shrek? You know whenever he goes to save Fiona with Donkey in the very first one and he has like the helmet on? So <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's for your ears. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, so I think we're just going to uh, jump onto foundation first. So I actually got this wee foundation here. The packaging actually looks fairly decent. So this is a soft matte longwear liquid foundation. I got the shade 102 Nude. And here's the killer. As I was saying, the website can be extremely deceiving. I thought I was buying 10 big beauty blenders then to go along with this I also got this Fuera Jumi Rose Water Priming and Setting Mist there was so many of these to choose from I actually would have bought nearly every colour but the shipping was just absolutely ridiculous but look at this how blooming cute is this just give it a little shake. Look how amazing is that? So I obviously got the rose gold one. So I'm just going to start applying the foundation with my Micro Beauty Blender. We might be here for a while. 
So first impressions are, <laughs> the foundation actually isn't that bad. It probably just looks like crap right now because, no. <laughs> okay, so I've actually noticed that it's oxidizing quite a bit too, which for today actually isn't too bad. I'm actually really wanting it to oxidize to kind of match my tan, but whatever. It's actually killing me to say this, but that generally does not look that bad. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the wee setting spray. That actually smells so nice. <laughs> do you know what else I got though? And I do not know why I got these right. Because these are things to lift up your breasts, basically. They are called a bear lifts. So basically, you put them on your booby and you lift it up. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of tilted the camera a bit so you can uh, look at me. I feel exposed. You kind of set them on like so and here's like a wee space for like your n nipple <laughs> um so you basically adjust and you can trim these to your cup size so they just peel off and they actually do stick quite well so then you obviously keep this bit on to lift up take it off and then stick so i don't actually know if they're going to stick or not but like say for example i pull up but I don't I don't know if they're gonna stick or not like woo okay, so I'm just gonna take this one off just to see <laughs> ow this one is off as you can see it kind of looks as if I've like had really botched up plastic surgery does that look natural? That is really starting to hurt. Uh, no. Ah. It's like I'm forever going to have saggy titties. Woohoo! Do you know what else I got? And I just thought it was absolutely hilarious. This was one of the things that I got that was actually the most expensive out of everything I got. Is this or is this not an awesome t-shirt? Like. It's Nicolas Cage. I love Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I seen this t-shirt and I was like, and the basket. I don't know why, but they sent me out two. So these are basically eyebrow templates. I, considering I don't have eyebrows or much eyebrow hair, I thought, awesome, that would be such a good idea. Until I looked at the shape, obviously. Okay, so we're just gonna get started, but I don't know if you guys can like notice this, but if I just place the stencil basically where it's supposed to be, like I'm kind of just lining up to where the start of my natural hair is. Um, and obviously, please do get mine, I don't have much eyebrow hair, but okay, so that is where I would start drawing basically. But I don't know whose head is this shape, honestly. I don't have a growth in my eyebrow, thankfully. I don't know. I do not know. But do you know what? We're just gonna do it anyway. I don't know if I want to like lift off the thing or like maneuver it. I think I might just try to maneuver it because I don't want to take the stencil off because I don't want to see what my eyebrows are going to look like. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my word! Our stars are not long enough, so... Oh my god. I look like Spock's sister. It's a no from me. So I actually got this palette and I can't get into it. This is the Glitz Glam Eyeshadow Palette and it's it just says Beauty Glazed on it so I'm guessing that's like the brand or something, I don't know. I cannot take myself seriously with this Nicolas Cage t-shirt on and these friggin' eyebrows. Ooh. 
in. So let me see. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> How stunning is that palette? Let's do a wee swatch of the I'm guessing this is this is pressed glitter. <gasps> what the fuck? How is this so? <gasps> oh my god. I also got some of these wee eyeshadows and anyway. they actually reminded me of the ColourPop eyeshadows. So these are also by the brand of the foundation and the setting spray. Um Fuera, Fuera, whatever. So these are the two shades that I got. Do you know what? They genuinely do look quite nice. Okay, they feel quite nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, not too bad. They're quite nice actually. But do you know what? I'm living for that palette. So we're gonna use the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into this palette and I'm gonna just use this shade here. Come to think of it, I didn't actually swatch any of the matte shades. What the hell? Hey, coat my brush. I'm gonna take this shade here. Oh my God. Oh, I cannot cope with my eyebrows right now. I every time I look at my eyebrows, I feel drunk. So do you know what? That probably looks absolutely crazy. Probably because of my eyebrows, but I'm living. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with that glitter shade there. You know what, I have to do another eyeshadow tutorial using just this eyeshadow palette and actually taking my time and doing a half decent look with it. What is going on? What? So I'm just going to use my finger. Oh, isn't it so pretty? It's quite sheer though, I was kind of expecting that. I would say these glitter shades would be nice as like an eyeshadow topper, if you know what I mean. Like obviously I'm placing this down and because it's just like a pressed glitter, like there's no actual like pigment in it holding it together, you know, it's just basic glitter. Okay, so apologies, but I did just go off camera there and I took that eyeshadow off. But I think we're going to do lips now. So I got a lip gloss this is like a tinted lip gloss and then i got a matte liquid lipstick this is a red one might use it actually it's kind of like a really really dark it's like a stone nude got this wee one and i got two lip liners so this is a super volume with ginger lip plumper oh oh my god i <laughs> smells like it smells like a belly button <laughs> now I smell a belly button okay it looks like it smells like feet or something I know what ginger smells like and that is not a smell of ginger I love ginger actually oh I'd love a ginger cake right now <laughs> we're going to try this after this the first time I looked at this um I was like Oh my god, did I buy a penis enlarger? <laughs> you know, I was like, do you stick this between your legs or something and just like <laughs> Like, you obviously have to like place it on and like do like the suction thing oh, My face is too fat to go on it <laughs> Oh my god Oh my god, my fucking eyes are watering. Let's zoom these in. I wish this was see-through because this would be such a gag. My lips were literally like... <laughs> are we noticing a difference? Like, like in here, it's really, really sore. We're gonna try it a couple more times. Mm. Mm. Jesus! I 
I honestly think my bottom lip looks bigger. Oh my god. Well, we just try it one more time just for shits and giggles until I giggle and shit myself. <laughs> this could be a really, really silly thing to do, but do you know what? We're gonna go for it. So that's my lips before. Look how dirty that is because of the foundation. Um, don't do this with foundation on. That is actually really, really painful. <laughs> I feel like such a pussy. <laughs> but yeah, my lips are definitely bigger. Oh my god. I That has bloody worked. I'm now gonna try the ginger lip plumper to see if it works. <laughs> Billy bun. Wait, you see, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and my mouth is gonna be all bruised. It's burning. It's burning. I can't help but think like my mouth now looks wonky. Like this side of my mouth just looks bigger. <laughs> I'm just gonna check it off because it's starting to really kill my lips. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so I've just took like bits of my foundation off my lips and I have bruised my lips. Oh! What? I'll just get rid of all this skank. I'm actually just going to go on with this lip liner. Okay, so I have that lip liner on and please excuse me, but I do look ridiculous. But I also got these two lipsticks. I think I'll use these. Like, I seen this and I was like, I have to have you. <laughs> so I bought two of them, clearly by the looks of it. As if I need three dicks in my life. Okay, so I think I'll just go for this dick here. So I'm just gonna put this uh, lip dick on. <laughs> How many penis lipstick jokes can you come up with? Uh, oh my god, I think it's broke. Yes. My penis has just broke. Not a very strong shaft on that. Holy fuck. Okay, it, like, <laughs> I don't even know, but it's not very moisturising or like, like there's not much give with it. It's very like, Stiff. <laughs> stiff. I love a good old stiffy. Eh? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, basically, I'm gonna have one more product to try out, and this one I've actually tried before. You can understand once you see it. It's a wig. It's a big, long, dark wig. I have never looked worse. Oh my god. So the way this also came packaged was actually quite nice, like there was like stuff inside it and like it was just well packaged basically. It has like the lace bit in here, it obviously just has your like parting. I noticed that there's like layers through the front which is actually quite a nice wee touch. Like so like you can see the wee layers coming out so these wee bits are obviously are like shorter and it's just given like the hair a wee bit of like dimension like more real like. If you know what I mean. <laughs> when I started my YouTube channel, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> if you're from the UK, have you ever watched a program called Shameless? I look like fucking Frank Gallagher. It does look nice, it does look quite nice, but like these bits at the front are just like, who walks around like this? 
This is so bloody warm. Tell you what, if you, if anybody out there wears a wig, you are a darling. Because I cannot cope with this. But this is the thing, like, I don't know whether to keep my ears in or out. That's one thing I noticed. Well, will I put my ears out? Let's, let's all have a laugh to finish this video off. Alrighty guys, so this is basically the end of my wish video. I did go and wash all the products off my face because ugh, I just was not having it. And it looks as if... In fact, I'm not even going to say what it looks as if I have on my mouth because I do not want to get flagged on YouTube for dirty talk. I kind of wish that I had bought more like really weird and random and just like... Just really silly, silly stuff. But I did find a, a few things on the website that other YouTubers had actually bought and tried out. And like, I wouldn't want to take like the light off them. Um, you know, and just copy them as such. I, I just wouldn't want to do that. Um, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Pray for my lips. Please. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you guys all in my next video.